Hi everybody, today let's take a look at a figure for Mar Marvel Crisis Protocol. This is the Kingpin. Uh, this is an alternative sculpt. Um, it Apparently it was 3D printed and I purchased this uh, 3D print from a place on Etsy called Jodenheim Studios. Um, great guys, great price. I'll put a link below. And I painted this one completely with contrast paints. And uh, I know, I know, I'm, I'm sad to say there's a, if you can see it, there's a splotch mark on his cheek, of course, that I didn't see, um, but I'll, I'll fix that. Um, okay, I used the, well, you know, I, um, you know, the different, well, actually the, um, the coat I used Crypt, uh, Crypt Gray, which is actually a greenish color from the uh, Speed Paint range, and, uh, you know, I used the Apothecary White, um, had a little trouble with the, um, purple, uh, I think it was Vulpus Pink for the pants and it kind of came out streaky but that, that's a problem with the paint not the technique or the figure. As I mentioned before this is a 3D print um, 3D printed um, figure and uh, scaled for uh, Marvel Crisis Protocol and he had a, a diamond or some kind of jewel on the top of the walking stick and I couldn't figure out how to paint it and then I got a uh, great idea, uh, kind of inspired by the non-gaming unicorn who does a lot of uh, crafting with beads. And I glued a kind of like a gemstony type bead on the top, see, and it's, it even sparkles. So that was kind of a little happy, um, happy surprise I came up with. Um, I'm kind of proud of it. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, yeah. And it was just the perfect size. I had to buy a whole strand uh, to only use one, but the non-gaming unicorn can use it in her various speed projects. I just cut the walking, um, on the walking stick, I, I just cut the uh, molded resin um, gem off, and then I glued this one atop it, and Bob's your uncle. Um, worked pretty well. Um, one of the things with the Marvel Crisis Protocol figs and painting them, uh, you know, they're larger, and uh, this is good practice for when I get the Marvel Zombies Zombicide game. And I've kind of I've kind of done uh, some practice with that. And then I did another figure. I did uh, Professor Xavier's um, half-brother, uh, Kane. Not really a half-brother, but anyway. Um, the Juggernaut and old Juggo. This one I painted completely with. Um, contrast paints and I used a thinned down version of Gilomont flesh for the flesh areas and then I I gave it a hit with the um, I think it's um, Eldar skin or it, it's the <clears throat> flesh the flesh colored uh, dry brush from Citadel and then I just kind of gave you know the skin I kind of gave a light dry brushing and it kind of brought brought out the um, kinda brought out some of the um, um, uh, some of the veins, you know, they kind of popped out, and then I just kind of did a brown uh, contrast paints, and uh, I'm I really like the way that this came out. I could do better, and then when the um, I kind of did a kind of did a light brown dry brush for the helmet, kind of see like the dings and dents. I'm I'm not sure if the helmet is metal or leather, but in any case, um, I'm looking forward to doing the Marvel Zombie Zombicide um, figs. And, you know, once again, this is just kind of practice for that. So, um, and in terms of the Marvel Crisis Protocol, they're coming out with Sergeant Fury and his Howling Commandos. And I'm down. The, the, that's my all-time favorite comic book. Um, you know, comic war comic book or any kind of Marvel comic. And it was the first one I actually uh, read and started collecting when I was a, when I was a lad. Um, so, once again, this, these are from uh, Jotunheim Studios. I'll put a link below. Um, what's your, um, have, uh, I have a couple of other one, uh, other figures, um, that are 3D printed, you know, they're alternative sculpts, and, uh, you know, and, um, I think I have, uh, Marvel Girl, The Invisible Woman, and, um, different, you know, different ones, and, you know, maybe I'll put some of them up. Um, so what's your favorite Marvel Crisis Protocol figure? Uh, which ones would you like to see? You know, comments below. Give me a hearty thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye now.